Hey, what's up? No jumper, it's Diablo, a little Lucifer in this bitch. Uh, my name's Diablo. I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida, 561. That's where I grew up like most of my life. But I was born in Ecuador, so I'm Ecuadorian. My parents brought me to Florida when I was like five years old. I was pretty fucking mischievous as a kid. That's where actually like Diablo comes in, along with like other stories, but that's where everybody asks is like my grandma and everybody just used to call me that because in Spanish it's just like not as weird like Diablo, it's just like, oh you're fucking crazy. Yeah, I was always like really into music, like since a young age and stuff, but not producing it until like I was probably like around 13. But I was like, always influenced by like Daft Punk and like Gorillaz. Then I got into like hip hop a lot more as I got older. I started uh, getting like seriously into producing like in high school. I went to an art school uh, and then I dropped out sophomore year because I was just like, fuck this shit. I'm just gonna do music. I was already like DJing shows and like producing a little bit, but I got very more into it like later on when I met like more artists because I started like collaborating with other artists. Like uh, the first like hip hop artist I ever started making music with was Wi Fi's Funeral because we actually like went to elementary school together, but we didn't hang out till like high school time. And that's when we started like collabing on music. And then I just started working with other artists from Florida and they all just happened to like blow the fuck up. Like Wi Fi, and then I met Perp, and then Perp introduced me to Pump, and then so on and so on. First day I met Perp, I don't know, we were all just probably like really high, because I had my own studio, everybody would just pull up, we all had mad weed, and just fucking make music, it was crazy. Like, when we first started making music, he actually like produced too, so he would like, oh, like I want this to sound like this, so it was re really dope working with him, because he actually like knew what he wanted. And the first song we've ever made was uh, Bust These Checks, with uh, featuring Young Bands, and yeah, I think it was that. Or that or uh, the, uh, his first tape that he ever put out is like, fuck now, up next. Um, that way, this way. There we go. That song was hard as fuck. Bitch, I'm on the block. That way, this way, this way, way block. The first time I met X, I think, was with Wi-Fi. We like, I like brought my whole studio and like, we pulled up to like his camp. We just set everything up. Um, it was pretty cool. I fuck with his music heavy. I just fuck with mostly any artists that I met through Florida. They just kept pushing like uh, just their music and shit and just ended up like doing really good in, in like their music. The first song that really took off for me, I mean my biggest song to this date is like my song with Pump, Boss. Uh, first song where I started I feeling like getting to like the underground scene was a song with Wi-Fi that we made which is um, Come Hell or High Water is the first song I made for him and then I released a song that was Don't Stress which is really where like uh, probably like the first song that like everybody started like writing about. I met Pump through Smoke Perp. We were just at my crib one day, and then Perp was like, "Yo, I'ma slide. I'ma bring my homie. He raps still." I was like, "I bet." And then Pump came through, and then we all just started making music. And then me and Pump just kind of like started making music a lot, like more than me and Perp. And we were just making like crazy music, like bass heavy music, like deranged music like lo-fi heavy bass and that's really like the first boss version is a song called obama which is just almost like it's just as ignorant it's like obama obama trapper of the century which really like influenced i guess boss coming because it was just like that same heavy bass do i think punk's a genius yeah i think he i think people underestimate him because they only see like what he wants you to see. I think he's actually smarter than most people would like give him credit for. Being on tour, that shit was wild. It was me, Pump, Desto Dub, uh, Yop, all the homies and shit. Every day that shit was a fucking movie. It's like bitches and we, I, I don't even know if I'm allowed to like talk about half the shit that happened. Just for like legal reasons. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, there were certainly, like, how we would do it, it was just, like, we would play a show, like, 3,000, 4,000 people, we go back to the bus, we turn up with, like, party every night, girls, and, and, like, drugs and shit, so it was, like, we wake up the next day, do the same thing all over again, you kind of get used to it, but also, it, like, takes a big toll, especially, like, you don't really eat that well, you just eat, like, fast food, but it's, like, the coolest vacation you could ever take, to be honest, yeah. I don't do drugs. I, I smoke weed, and that's it. Like nah, yeah. nah. I, I promise. I don't. Just weed, weed, man. That's all you need. Don't do Zans. Zans are bad.
Well, I work with a lot of like EDM based producers now, like Diplo, he's dope, and like Getter, he's my actually my roommate. Shout out Getter. Um, I like collaborating with them because it opens like my mind to like new ideas and like to work with other genres and stuff. But I don't think I see myself producing a lot of electronic music like this year because I'm very focused on like making a lot of big hip hop songs this year. Uh, I met Diplo through Alice in Wonderland. They like hit me up in a group chat. Uh, they wanted to like remix one of my songs that I did. And they were just like, yo, we fucked with the song. Like we want to remix it. And we all just started like talking from there. Then I linked up with uh, Diplo when I came to, to LA and shit. Wait, like before I moved here and shit. And he was cool, cool dude. He just hit me up. Like we were already friends at that point. And uh, we were just making music. And he was just like, oh, my homie Nicoletti moved out. Shout out Nicoletti. And I was looking for a place in LA. I was like, oh shit, I just moved out my place in Florida. He was like, should move in. I was like, fuck yeah. Uh, it's tight living with other producers because it, it keeps you like motivated and you just like wake up, someone's making music, you're like, fuck, I gotta make some music. And it's just dope to have like a creative environment, like a powerhouse of creative people. I feel is the best way to continue making good music. I feel like there's no right way to be a producer, but definitely like this is the best time to be a producer because you can also be an artist. Like no longer are producers behind like the scenes unless they choose to, which is pretty dope. The best way I would just say is consistency and collaborating with as many artists as you can. Because like really when you work alone as a producer, it's like you can make tight music, but you really expand like that milestone when you collaborate with other artists. I mean, I'm generally nice to whoever's nice to me. But if like, if I meet a rapper and he's just a dick, I'm not really gonna wanna give him my beats. <laughs> it felt awesome because that's my first gold plaque. So very excited. It's like a new achievement for me. You know, now I wanna go platinum. I think that song's gonna go platinum. So that's gonna be tight. Uh, it's just dope. Not a lot of people get to go like gold and platinum, but it's cool. Uh, I'm managed by the lights. Same people uh, me and Pump and Boonk are managed by. Shout out Lights Global, they're next. We up right now, like the best team out right now. Uh, well, luckily like I have a big team and so they not only manage me, they take care of my PR and like just all my flights and stuff. So they book my shows and like take in bookings and they'll get me, get me even like placements on songs. They'll be like, yo, we're working with this person and you wanna fuck with them? I'll be like, hell yeah, here's some beats. And they make that shit always go together. If you're a producer, definitely make sure to have a lawyer first and then a manager and then everything else because it's very easy to get taken advantage of. Even as a rapper, like if you don't have the proper like management, uh, lawyers, labels can just fuck you. You can sign like the shittiest deal for no money and now you're a slave to the labels. Shout out Sniper Gang, free Kodak. Hell yeah, I love Kodak. Kodak's like one of the biggest artists from Florida that I support, you know, just like hometown hero. I fuck with this camp. Shout out Alex Jr. Free that man. Free that boy. <laughs> Diplo, Getter. Damn, I'm trying to think. Oh, shout out Big Head. Shout out G Nels. I love both of them. That's pretty much it right now. The on the beach, yeah, I just put out a new song with my boy Craig Zen. Shout out that boy. Um, I'm a feminist, all platforms. Uh, we're doing a music video for a song with young bands and Craig Zen, Killa, 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 Killa. Um, and then I have my album coming out this year, which I'm really excited about, featuring like a bunch of artists from Florida and just all over, really, that I've linked with. So I'm really excited, looking forward to that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I like all like forms of media, like music and photography and video. I just want to really just like fuck with all those mediums and just just have fun with it. Really, I'm not really like focused on like achieving a certain goal, just doing as much possible like creativeness I could do with like music and videos as I can. Everybody should check out Boss so that shit goes platinum. Um, check out Killa, Craig Zen, Young Bands. And uh fuck. <laughs> I don't I don't remember a third one, so fuck it. Just check out my whole SoundCloud. Soundcloud.com slash Diablo. Shout out Smoke Perp, shout out Lil Pump, shout out X, shout out Ski, shout out Wi-Fi, shout out all homies from Florida. 
fucking shout out Getter, shout out Nicoletti, shout out Adam, shout out Rope Gang. I'm I can help you, the guy knows your way. I'm I can help you.